Guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, a little something different, something we wanted to do, but we've been too busy because the waves have been so crazy. We're gonna add, uh, or try to, at least monthly, so if I can set this here, add a fifth video to our um, monthly four, I guess we do one a week, but we're gonna add one more. I've been wanting to do this for a little while, and this fifth video is basically gonna entail training videos, how to's, you guys ask a lot about duck diving and uh, where paddle, actually I need one scoop of this. A little freaking hydrator. You ask a lot about duck diving, paddling, um, the endurance type of things, uh, the training I do, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna make this fifth video, how to's, um, training specific stuff. How do we train to become a better, more efficient paddler? And that's gonna have a couple different categories in it. That's just the technical side. And then that's building the actual endurance to um, help you paddle for longer, more efficiently, that whole deal. So we'll do some stuff in the gym surrounding that. Um, honestly, truth be told, if you wanna paddle better, you need to do more paddling. But not everybody has the privilege to be paddling every day just out in the water. So you gotta do stuff at home uh, to keep that endurance up, especially if you're just weekend warrior surfing on the weekends um, it sucks to come back into it feeling that unfitness every weekend so i'm going to try and give you guys some little tips and tricks to stay fitter through the week um, to paddle and duck dive better and anything else you guys might be curious just ask questions in the comments below that being said we're going to head to the gym today uh, right now and we're gonna go over some of the stuff I do in the gym. It's not much. Most of the training I do is based off pushing myself, um, making it really hard mentally, because I find that helps a lot in the bigger stuff. Things like, can I do a certain amount of, of reps and at a certain weight in a certain time? I don't, and then I'll find that I, like, I may not think it's possible. I'm probably gonna get time capped. And most of the time, if I push hard enough, I can make that. So that kind of stuff, overcoming something you think you can't do, that's how I base my training around for the mental side. And on top of that, you're building uh, your engine, your endurance, your strength, um, kind of all in one. CrossFit is what people call it. Um, I've been doing it for a few years. It works for me. Priority on form, as always. I'm gonna go through some specifics on paddling um, before we hit the workout. And then you guys can just do that, or you can do both and the workout if you want. Whatever. See you at the gym. Okay, here at the gym, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna give you three things today, and keep it simple. Um, there's gonna be two exercises, and there's gonna be one thing that I think will just help in paddling in general. Um, we'll keep this one simple. Some things you can work on. Do as consistently as your willpower will allow. I mean, ideally every day not that a couple times a week if, especially if you're not surfing um, the main thing is that you if you're not surfing you're the weekend warrior you get it at least a couple times a week I don't do this every day because I'm surfing a ton but if I am not surfing with a big flat swell then I'll have to start doing these activities one is um, mobility I think paddling is huge to do with mobility if you have really stiff traps you don't have um, good shoulder flexion can get your arms back or overhead, you don't have a good overhead position, then your paddling is going to be restricted. The muscle is going to work way, way harder. And a lot of guys I see that have bad mobility, they're like, oh, my shoulders are blowing up every time I paddle. And that's because they're not flexible in their upper back, which is my least flexible spot too. But because I've been paddling my whole life, I have really good overhead mobility from it. Um, so that's one thing we're working on. I'll show you a few things to stretch that out. This is optional and it's kind of expensive, but this is really well utilized in paddling or anything shoulder mobility especially if you've had shoulder uh, surgery a couple of my friends have used this and it's helped them a ton with getting their strength and mobility back this thing's called crossover symmetry um, I got it a while back super simple it has all the exercises you guys can look into that simple things like this I mean the little board has all the exercises you can do it with bands but it's a basic basic warm-up do these, I'll do these, and I'll do overheads. One other thing I'll do is I'll grab this PVC pipe. Again, so basic, but in the long run it helps. Well, I do a lot of Olympic lifting, so I'll work on my overhead squat position. I'll get down here and I'll work just positioning. 
so that I can have an upright, good, solid squat, keeping my back as vertical as possible, sitting on my heels. When you do this, you're gonna feel your mid-back just almost like an ache happening, and that's just that tightness happening, trying to restrict your shoulders, but. Okay. Stretching, something I very rarely do. We'll get into the exercise. Very few exercises that ever have helped me with paddling. And that's why, for the most part, I say paddling helps paddling. And basically, I'm gonna give you the only two that have ever felt a difference. Obviously, being a fitter person, you're gonna be able to paddle longer and be in the ocean longer without getting super tired. But these two things um, are gonna help you with just straight back and shoulder endurance in general. I'll come down here and I'll do intervals. 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds of push-ups, things like that. But basically, going like this. It looks simple. Body weight is enough. Usually you can do a minute on, minute off, anything intervals, 100 reps, 100 off. And that basically replicates what it would feel like laying on your board, being in that paddling position, working these upper back muscles. These are fancy pink weights. These are three pounds. That should be plenty. Um, do this movement body weight. Do it with weights if you're feeling like you want a little more of a burn. <clears throat> I like to put it into EMOM style, but you guys probably have <clears throat> all kinds of little stuff that you like to do personally. This machine is called the Ski Erg, and obviously you might be at home, so you might not have this, up, this machine or whatever. You can do it with bands. Bands are a cure-all for most machines, but I'll basically come here. This is the one thing that really saves paddling uh, during flat spells, whatever. You have it at your gym, take advantage of it. And that's this is the basic movement. Back straight, down, this, reps, tons of reps. This goes by meter to cal, so you can just get on here and do a long time. I'll do um, an EMOM style, so that's one minute on of both arms, same time. And in the next minute, I'll do single arm. Back, double arm, back to single arm. And I'll do 10, 15 minutes of that, alternating between the two. Those would be my top three to start with though, is working mobility, working those back and forth over the kettlebells. And if you have bands or a skier, working the single arm and the double arm. Otherwise, I'm in here doing CrossFit style workouts, which is what we'll do now. Okay. Workout is programmed. This is where the fun stuff happens. Um, this is the type of working out I like. It's what keeps me coming back to the gym over and over again. Um, if I only have stuff that's like the supplemental stuff or like those paddle exercises, they're not the most exciting stuff ever. So it's hard to do them consistently. So I like to do the CrossFit stuff, which really fires me up. Um, and I come back over and over and do it because you can see it's measurable, you can see yourself getting better, stronger, faster. Um, so this workout is designed to hit legs, shoulders, and core. We're gonna be doing toes to the bar. So basic pull up grip, toes to the bar. Six of those, we're gonna do overhead squat like I showed you earlier, with 95 pounds in the bar, nine of those, and we're doing double unders, which is a jump rope, you're jumping rope, but you're getting two rotations of the rope each jump. So it's really grip heavy and really shoulder concentrated. So all in all, this was gonna work our legs, our shoulders heavily, and our core as a little addition. Oh, and our grip is gonna blow up from this. And mainly, I wanna work grip because the CrossFit Open is starting this month. I wanna be somewhat able to do some of those workouts and not have to scale too much. Um, workout looks like this. Just so you can see it, six rounds is my goal. Um, it's gonna be tough because that means I have to do all of this work in a two minute period. I'm hoping to get this in one minute and this is in the other minute. This is my strategy, 12 minute time cap. So my goal is to get six rounds in 12 minutes. Um, and it's gonna be tight. If I can, can maintain two minute complete rounds, then I'll be able to get it just in time. Um, if not, then 
I'll be pretty bummed to myself. Thirty seconds left.
10 seconds. And 12. Oh, my forearms. Way off timed. I managed to get eight rounds and three toes of bar in 12 minutes. These rounds were just going by quicker than I thought. Stoked on I think I never broke the squats once. Got nine each time. Toes of bar and dumbbell lines are broke a few times. Double under is so funny. First three rounds, broke on 27 each one. Had to do three. First three rounds, three extra. Oh. Lungs, forearms, shoulders, legs. Perfect workout. Oh you guys know the workout. If you have the equipment, give it a go. My official score was eight rounds, three toes to bar in 12 minutes. So you guys know the workout. If you just do the paddle exercise, perfect. Hopefully it makes you a better paddler. We'll go over technique uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching, subscribe and uh, Put down in the comments anything you guys really want to learn about. Tips, tricks, questions on training, duck diving, paddling, standing up, barrels, whatever you guys want. Ask questions below. We're going to make this fifth video in the month a kind of how-to tips and tricks uh, series. So like, subscribe, do all that, whatever you want.